What's going on, everybody? So I have been getting a couple of questions on what I'm doing in terms of gear farming. Like, how do I allocate my energy? I've done a couple of videos talking about gear farming, but I just want to straight up uh, tell you exactly how I handle it step by step because I'm still getting questions about it. So I figured, you know what, why not make it into a video? Now, uh, I might be a little bit sporadic here because by the time this video drops, that day or, or the day before Diablo 4 will be launching and I'll be playing that game and making videos about that. So if you guys are also in that same sphere, let me know in the comments down below because I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'll be pushing, pushing pretty hard. But as for kind of my daily routine slash really specifically my gear farming routine, because I also have some other uses of energy and I'll talk about my character farming strategy soon, kind of what my goal uh, that I'm going for is, etc. But the first thing that I do every single day is open up the supply shop and figure out what I wanna get from here. I always purchase the purple crystal fragments and the blue ones from the gold star. Now you might say, well, well that's why you're running out of gold um, and you'll be slightly correct, but it's really not that expensive. It's 3000 gold. You can get this potentially a couple times per day uh, and uh, it's gonna be a really, really nice boost in progression because oftentimes each one of these costs 36, 48 energy. I mean, the purple ones cost even more. Um, I can't even tell you because I don't know the rates, but the blue ones seem to be like a one in three chance. So they, those cost uh, usually about 36 energy. So I always, always pick up the crystal fragments because that's the main bottleneck for all the gear in the game. And if I just go through here and show you all, my general gearing strategy is to focus light side, pure light side first. And the reason I do that is because I believe my light side team is slightly stronger. If you think your shadow team is stronger, then you should probably focus shadow. But I think for most people, having Eowyn, Eothane, uh, as well as Strider, that three core plus Eomer, that's going to be a very, very nice four-piece combo. And then if you're going for Halberod, then you might even be even more set up. Or if you're going for Elra here, Strider, Halberod, uh, Eowyn, Eothane, that's going to be a nice combo as well. Honestly, you really can't go wrong with a mix and match of those kind of six characters, although you do want a healer. Uh, so maybe you're using like Pippin, which is totally fine as well. But my point here is my light side team is stronger. Now, the first thing I consider is who is my main DPS units. For me, that's Strider and Elra here. So I want to focus on their gear first. After that, I focus on tanks and then I focus on the less DPS slash support units. Okay. But I kind of level up everyone at the same rate, meaning I go gear six across the board and then I go gear seven across the board, gear eight across the board. When I'm looking for gear every day, the first thing that I do after I do my character farming strategy, which as I said, I'll go over on in a later video, I immediately ignore everything but the crystals every single day. I literally just go through and farm every single crystal stage that I can. And if I could do 3, 8 slash 4, 6, I might do that as well. But generally speaking, the further you go, and I haven't had time to manual some stages, I probably could push a little bit harder. But generally speaking, you should be doing roughly around four to five hard node battles of these luminous crystals every single per day. Unless you're working on your shadow team, then you should do the same for the shadow comp, okay? And you can see why. I have four of four crystals, which means I don't even have enough to kind of really do anything besides just this one piece of gear. And you might notice that uh, I actually can almost upgrade this gear piece. Um, you can see I already have the thread. I already have the cotton. I literally have the damage essences. I only need the luminous crystals. That's all I need for this piece of gear in particular. And if I wanted to pick up this one, guess what I would need? Two focus essences, which are very, very easy to acquire. So the first thing I do every single day is go in for these luminous crystals, okay? After I've done that, do I have enough to upgrade a piece of gear? If it's yes, then I will go ahead and farm that other component that I need. Keep in mind that I typically focus on whatever gear piece is gonna work best for that unit. If it's a DPS unit, guess what? I'm going for the DPS stuff, such as this one right here, right? Damage, focus, resistance, if I want damage on that unit. Um, if I want uh, survivability or 
focus or whatever or armor i'm going to go for that piece right for my healers i go for hp typically um for damage i go for damage right it's it's very standard right just pick the gear piece that's the best for your unit and fits their role and then equip that on them okay then uh what's really really important is you're gonna want to fill out the other pieces as well you can hop character to character and fill up the pieces like HP on tanks, focus on supports, damage on damage dealers. But to be honest, the amount of stats you get from the gear is really not that much. For example, if I were to put this gear piece on, I'd get 28 damage. If I look at my e uh, Ewin here, I have 683 damage, which means it's less than like what is that like three percent damage increase, which is nothing. I'd much rather reach that next gear tier to get a big big bonus okay so after i've gone and farmed my luminous crystals and now i have enough luminous crystals to put a gear piece i farmed the piece now i've equipped the piece okay now i can no longer farm any more luminous crystals what do i do next well keep in mind you're still gathering shadow crystals as you're doing this right how do i know that well because of the challenges potentially because of the shop if you're doing my same strategy so then as soon as i've maxed out my luminous crystals for the day and this is this is assuming you're gathering each of the free energies per day, by the way. Um, if you do this, then you'll have plenty of energy to do everything that I'm saying. Then you move into the shadow crystals and repeat the same process for the shadow characters. Again, if your focus is shadow, then you're going to do the first shadow team, then move on to your light side team. Again, the main bottleneck are the shadow slash light crystals, meaning that once you've kind of use them all up you can't really gear up your units any further so for example here for maher i ended up just equipping these pieces because i had them available but my current focus is to be able to get this damage piece um, and then going over to this damage piece so i'd like to pick up this one and you can see here um, i need to get some chalk as well as um, some crests so my remaining energy is going to be used on farming up uh, the actual resources for that character not the crystal notes which might seem a little odd why am i farming the crystal notes for light side characters and not the shadow characters well because my focus is the light side characters i do not have enough energy to farm the light side crystals and the shadow crystals every day so my focus has got to be light side crystals plus associated gear to get the gear on them and then the associated gear on my shadow characters with whatever shadow crystals I have. If I've already, let's say I've gone ahead and gotten two crests and I've also gotten the three chalk pieces and I'm sitting on them and I look down here and I have five of four shadow crystals, guess what I'm doing? The next step is to actually start farming the shadow crystals as well. And in fact, as you're going through, you can oftentimes find other pieces that you might need for your light side characters. For example, if I find my shadow crystals or if I farm these, I can actually get the health essences here um, and I can get the damage essences and I can even get um, some other materials such as the runes. So when you're farming, and let's say you are looking for health essence for your light side character, it actually might be more efficient to farm the hard node for the shadow crystals as well and kind of double up wherever you can so it's kind of my daily process um realistically every day that's kind of what it's like these games are as i've said such slow placed uh, paced games you really have to be patient you cannot rush it if you go ahead and just start maxing out like dang i really want to progress i'm gonna max out everything then you're gonna kind of hamstring yourself pretty hard in fact Oftentimes, I wouldn't even recommend five starving, starring characters, which uh, I ended up doing for Gauze, and I don't even want to, to think about that anymore. <laughs> it was so expensive. Elra here is approaching the five stars for me. I don't even know if I'm going to do him. Uh, I might just continue to farm him because he's the best chapter three note I have right now. And then as soon as I unlock chapter four at level 44, um, then, well, I'll be able to farm chapter four and I'll transition over to that now that I have an L here five star. So that's kind of my daily farming for gear. If you want to check out my character farming, be sure to sub guys because I will drop that later on. Kind of my strategy going forward. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and I'll see you all for the next one.